And Leo, welcome to your past life karmic lesson. Let's take a look. What are the things that you still need to finish from the past and well from your past life? And the things that you still need to fulfill in your present life. And let's take a look. Okay, farm, living or travel, knighthood, ships, communal living, you love traveling by water but you actually have some phobia in swimming or being in the water, love life, spouse, monk or nun, authority figures, medicine woman or man. All right. Okay, you live in a very simple family in the past, but you do have, I mean, you're doing well. Okay, it's not really that you're in a very impoverished family. But you actually left home at a very early age and you served either in the palace or in government and work as a knight. Now, this, this actually reflects in your personality right now that you always walk away from a particular situation, especially when it calls for a very big responsibility. I'm not saying that you're an irresponsible person, but it's like either you walked away from it or you're always getting walked away from. Okay? Now... Now, at a very early age, you're already sailing or you're already traveling. And I feel like you've already reached a lot of islands or a lot of places in your past life. But you have gone through, you know, in that kind of journey that you have taken and chosen. Uh, it has been really hard being on your own. And most of the time you were, you know, you were alone in your life until that you met somebody who is a very, who's more like a religious practitioner and you, and you have some uh, talents in music and arts or you do play instruments. And you met somebody who is a um, Native American and became your spouse. Okay. Now the thing here is, I feel like at that time, your uh, either your relationship or marriage was against the law or against you know whatever country or whatever city that you were in or it was actually forbidden by their tribe because if they, you know if the person is from uh, that tribe then they prefer somebody who's their own kind okay and you are actually from another place from a far 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 away place and uh this person is a either it's a daughter or son of a shaman or and a medical and an herbalist or a healer okay you also have some healing abilities okay and i feel like at this point the reason why you're having a lot of hard times with your with your love life or with your you know marriage is because especially if you've been experiencing a lot of uh, opposition Okay, that there are a lot of people who's very up against your decisions. Marrying somebody or being with someone who's not really of their taste. They feel like you don't really deserve that guy or that guy or that person. Sorry, that person would just deprive you, use you, and take advantage of you. And most of the time, they don't really listen to whatever they're saying. You feel like, ah, they just, they just don't want to see me happy. But at the end of the day, at the bottom line of that relationship is that they turn out to be right. Now, the thing here is, in your past life, the person whom you married to did not really fought for you. Because their tribe or their council or whatever it is, who will, you know, in whatever culture this person came from that you have married in the past, uh, they are up against your, your relationship or your marriage. They cannot let outsiders get into their... I don't know, their tribe or circle because they're afraid that some of their tribal secrets will get revealed and some other, you know, people from the outside will just expose them. So this is the thing. And I feel like at this point, you are either with someone who doesn't really fight for you or who, who just, you know, simply sells you out in front of other people or you always keep on getting walked away from. Uh, there's also an issue about abandonment. Lessons and blessings, see, phobia. You do have that, um, you do have that fears, okay? And you always, 
always, you always ended up getting calculated. You always ended up getting measured by other people, and this is what you really hate. Because sometimes you feel like you're, you feel so inadequate. You feel like you don't really have what it takes to be happy. And you don't really have what it takes to be, you know, to be a part of someone else's world or someone else's community. Now, what are the things that you need to learn about love? You actually have a very good, you know, lifeline. It's just that when it comes to your love and marriage, that's the thing that you always flop. Okay, that's, that's that's the only thing that you always, uh, what do you call this? That you always fall down and that you always, you know, have a hard time. Calling in your soulmate, codependency, you deserve love, passion, deception. Now you always get cheated on, as I said. Either you're the one who's walking away or you're the one who always getting walked away from. When you've called out your soulmate, you are looking for somebody that you can rely on, you rely upon. But the thing here is, you only need to rely on yourself, and you're already strong enough, Leo. You have that strength of you like an animagus, and you deserve love. You deserve the love that you've been giving to other people. That yourself also deserves that kind of attention and love and care. Okay, your true love will come, and the one that you're with right now, or the one that you're about to meet for singles, that's the one that you're going to be with. But you need to let go of your control issues. You also need to unleash the passionate side of you. Don't hold back yourself, especially when it comes to having sex or when it comes to, you know, the intimacy. At first, obviously, most of the relationship or all relationships, it's only good at the beginning. It's only sweet, you know, sweet and... It's like you cannot really get a hold of each other. You cannot get enough of each other. And then later on, after three months or six months, like, boom. A lot of things have changed. And it's like you're back to being strangers again. And you always have that problem being cheated on. Or you're the one who's always getting cheated. Okay, it works both ways. As I've said, either you're the one who's walking away or you're the one who's always getting walked away from. But you just need to stay positive about your life because there are some things that you only need to list. To, sorry, to, to clean, to finish up, and to fulfill. Just for you to straighten up your path. Alright? So what is the lesson that you need to learn from here? Uh, the person that you're going to be ending up with, whatever happened in your past life, it will happen again, or it will occur again. The family will be against you. Or the entire people around you will also, will also be up against you. But the person that you're with need to fight for their past life lessons or past life karma that they need to fight for you and not just you. Because you were, you know, you were kicked out of that uh, tribe or you are kicked out of that place or community or council, whatever it is. Okay? So that's the thing that you need to learn. You need to teach the person how to fight for you. And that is by loving yourself. Now, self-love is being... So, okay, self-love is different from being selfish. Those are two different things and too far off from each other. All right? So let's take a look at your general aspect. What are the things that you still need to remind yourself of in order for you to complete your mission? Collect. You need to be a little bit more patient. Surround yourself with useful friends. Uh, be a little bit more genuine and uh, open and uh, be transparent. Okay? Mean what you say, say what you mean. Don't fall in love with somebody that's far from you or, diff or of a different language or culture from you because... It's going to be very different and very difficult. Um, 
and don't keep on walking away from a tough and difficult situation it's like you're walking away but then you're just gonna hide and see if they're gonna follow you you also need to learn how to communicate the person that is right for you is a younger water sign younger than you not so young but it's younger than you and I feel like this person lives a little bit further away from you, two miles, two hours, two days away from you. Or two, two cities, two countries. <laughs> two countries is really far. I feel like it's more of two cities away from you. Or two blocks. And this person has a lot of money or financially stable, but is kind of a little bit irresponsible because they are younger. And... The only thing that you, for Leo women, the only thing that can repay your karma is that when you finally become a mother, okay, or become a parent. And I feel like this is where your past life will start shaping up because when you were pregnant, you were kicked out by the tribe or kicked out by the, uh, the family of the person that you have married to in the past, okay? And uh, I feel like this person did not really fought hard for you because he was brainwashed or they were brainwashed. All right. So there are some things that you need to learn for yourself, for your life path. And uh, what is your life purpose, by the way? Let me check. And being with somebody that is far from you, it's going to be very difficult because he will always get cheated on. Alright? There will always be betrayal. Blood and love, healer, books. You love reading books. You're a very compassionate person. You are supposed to be in the field of medicine, like nurse, medical aid, um, doctor could be. And uh, you love reading books. You love, you know, having a lot of knowledge about something. Support, you know, support's, support's still in the field of medicine and yoga. You also need to uh, regain your balance and tune up your, your chakra. Author is all about book writing, okay, or being an author, okay? So right now... Let's take a look more about your general aspect. And you know what? I feel like this uh, whole thing with your, with your past life is that there are some things that you also need to learn from yourself. You need to let yourself grow and evolve. And there are some harsh lessons that you need to learn, but this is also for your own good. That is because that sometimes you are so stubborn and you fail to learn the lesson that life is trying to teach you and bring you okay and don't expect that people will chase down your tail just because that you run away that's not how you're going to be making your importance okay and you also need as i've said you need to be a little bit more domestically abreast like for example try to learn cooking some leaders are good a good cook or some leaders are working as a chef but i feel like at this time you need to you know, most leaders are not really that particular in some domestic chores. Most leaders are very career-oriented. They love traveling. They love being outside. They love hanging out with their friends. And they love uh, living a luxurious life. And you also need to be a little bit more practical because most of you, uh, some, some of you actually, okay, are did not really leave it in their means okay you need to learn how to handle money and don't always um don't think that there will always be someone who will be providing for you that's why i'm telling you that you need to pull out that strength in you because you are stronger than you think all right so anyway that's it for you for this time leo and if you want to have your own past life reading in past life recollection, just go and visit me at my website, it's afeeangel.net. You may talk to me live on the phone, live video calls, or pre-recorded video readings. Alright, so blessings to you.